What's up everyone? Kiera, um, back with a video. So this time it's not a backpack. I'm gonna talk about um, this wonderful, wait, let me make sure I say it right. Keychron K2 Wireless Mechanical Keyboard um, that I got. So let's start out with an unboxing video. So I unboxed this, uh, it was really cool. I know it has no sound. So, I'm gonna, hopefully, this gets to you, like, how it sounds, so. Alright, so, this is the Keychron K2 with red switches. Um, I hear browns are a little softer, but I don't know. So, things about this keyboard, it connects to three different Bluetooth devices, it works on Windows and Mac, um, and it, you can, like, plug it up on the side here or you can do the Bluetooth thing. So the way I have mine set up is I have my work Mac and my personal Mac connected through Bluetooth. And then if I need to be on a Windows machine, which I don't anymore for a whole other reason, um, I'll plug it up to the keyboard. So I did try this um, on both Windows and Mac. And I will say at first, like I kind of loved it. I thought I loved it. And it's not a bad keyboard, not saying I hate it, right? But the issue was I went from Mac to Windows, right? <laughs> to try to see what it felt like working on my Windows machine, real smooth. Um, I was doing like, even with hacking, um, I was doing a CTF. And I don't know, like typically I feel stressed because <laughs> my Mac, like space bar just sticks. And here it just felt like really light. You don't really have to go all the way down. On, on these buttons, so that was really cool. Um, but yeah, felt good. I uh, didn't feel stressed with my keyboard. I uh, I love that I can pick this up like this and move. Um, granted, can't move away from the Windows machine because it's a desktop, but being able to be like, all right, well, I'm gonna work from uh, my desk or I'm gonna work from uh, this wonderful couch. Whichever I choose, just pick up the keyboard and keep it moving. Um, has been really nice. So another thing, that this has is uh let me let me turn it on so we're on two right so right now it has like this breathing thing but there is so many oh wait does this work there's so many different light modes here oh this might be triggering my computer too <laughs> but you know like there's there's just so many of them and not gonna lie I find them all annoying I go back so you can use uh, this light button here uh, at the top or you can use like FN and an arrow key is this one I was on <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to find which one I was on anyways for me that's been really cool um, granted red doesn't go with any of my uh, setup but that's like the, the most the breathy one breath one whatever is the most common Call me one that I found. Um, but anyway, yeah, I really like this keyboard. My only issues with it is after switching back from Windows to Mac, um, as you can see, like my command keys are supposed to be on either side of the space bar. And that's not the case. I don't know if you've ever used a normal Windows computer keyboard with a Mac, um, but the options key ends up being the command on the left side sorry don't know my sides right so that's how this works now and i'm trying to figure out how to switch it back i think i might have to plug up the keyboard and like use it while on my mac for it to um fix the keyboard layout uh but like i, I just really don't i don't know it doesn't really bother me because before this um, mechanical keyboard i was using was made more for windows than mac but this came with, uh, like, this came with the Windows versions, too. So, like, if you're not a Mac user, um, as frequently as, like, maybe me, you can toss off those keycaps and put on the ones for Windows. Uh, so I think I talked through, like, all of the, the good stuff. So the bad stuff for me, um, my hands are this size. I mean, they might not look that big, but they are constantly, like, swollen and stuff like that. Right, that's my reality. Um, but I also realize, like, what I'm trying to, 
let me back up. The really important thing here was the keypad, right? So when I'm trying to really use my keypad, I hit the, the end and the home key a lot and it makes the page jump and it like throws me off, right? For a couple of minutes. And because I'm coding, like it's not really ideal. I'm not as bothered when I'm like watching a video or on Twitter or what have you, but like in the middle of a project where like maybe I'm in the move, in the groove and just like really hammering out code and I'm trying to hit like enter or something and maybe like the home key accidentally gets hit or I'm trying to go down and like the end key gets hit and then it's skewed like the entire screen, it feels a little stressful. Um, so that's the one thing I will say, like I think this is a perfect size keyboard uh, because I did want the number pad, but if I could find one that like, I don't even need all these extra keys at the top with like the colors and uh, delete key and all this crap. Like I don't need that. I really just want like the main keyboard and then the the pad um, there, the directional pad. I don't think that's possible. I don't think that exists. <laughs> so I'm just gonna suck it up. But I will say like, um, I don't know if I can go in and change uh, the macros. I believe that's the right technical keyboard fancy person term. But I don't know if I can go in and like disable those for the page up, page down, home and end. Uh, because as of now, this will be my primary keyboard for my Mac. Um, I no longer really need to use it for Windows, which is great. But that's really my only qualm. And I don't know if like, honestly, it can be because typing fast. Now that I think about it, I don't really type that fast. Um, I'm like 30, 28 to 30 words per minute. <laughs> that's slow. Um, but like, also just like because of the way my hands sit on the keyboard, um, which a lot of my stuff is like from playing music and just the fact that my hands are swollen, so they like need more space to move efficiently type of thing. Um, yeah, it's just, it's really annoying to have those buttons just really fuck with me all the time. Uh, but I like this keyboard, right? So there is a link. I hope I kept it by the time I post this for 10% off this keyboard. This keyboard is like a hundred bucks, 95 to a hundred bucks, which is not bad. I got a 10% off coupon for anybody that wants to get it. Highly recommend it if you want like a nice, sturdy, I even say entry level a mechanical keyboard. And I say entry level because you don't have to build it. I'm too lazy, I build enough. <laughs> so I wasn't gonna build a keyboard. It's really nice, really smooth, comes in three different switches. Comes in red, brown, blue. Um, you can get like RGB or non-RGB, which I tried to get the other one, but it was sold out. It's neither here nor there. Uh, but yeah, like I, I really like this. I recommend it. Uh, if we were giving the scale of one to ten, it definitely gets like a solid eight. Uh, yeah, two is because those buttons have just been screwing with my life uh, for the past. I think I've had this for almost a month. So yeah, but really nice keyboard. Go check it out. Uh, just for the last time, if you want to hear how like clacky it is, it's that. And then like I'll end with the little keyboard at night video and see you all and whatever the next keyboard review or what have you is. All right, so look, I just put up the keyboard and I was trying to put like my setting back and I just want to say FN and the arrow key changes the colors. So now the colors of my keyboard match the colors that I want them to, which is like a Batman theme, right? I'm excited, um, but still there's like 20 light modes or some crap like that. But yeah, just wanted to throw that out there before this was over. See ya.